Hi, I'm MB. I'm your staff facilitator here at Grand Rapids Community College. Today we're going to talk about group-wise distribution lists. Do you ever have a group of people that you email over and over and over again and you get tired of typing in their names individually in your email? We're going to create a distribution list so you just have to type one thing and it will populate it with all the people that you would like to have in your group. In order to create a distribution list or a group as GroupWise calls it, I'm going to go ahead and click a new mail message and I'm going to go ahead and put the people that I want this message to go to. This is a group, could be a committee that I'm on, that I email on a regular basis. And rather than typing those four names over and over again, I would like to save them as a group. Now that I have them in the to field of my email, I can now click on address. And in the dialog box that appears, notice on the right hand side, it has the four names that I've selected. If I get to this point and I realize, wait, there's one more person I need to look for, I can go ahead and type it on the left hand side and I can add Liz McCormick now to my list. Once I have everyone in my list, I can click Save Group. It'll ask me, which address book do you want to save it to? I'm going to choose Frequent Contacts. I am going to give this group the name GRCC Committee. I'm going to click OK, OK here, and now I can go ahead and type this email. But in the future, when I want to email this group, I can click New Mail, and I just start typing the name of the distribution list, which was GRCC Committee. Once I've done that, it auto-populates. I can type my message, and it will go out to everybody that is on my distribution list called GRCC Committee. That's my quick tip for the day. Hope that makes your day a little easier. Bye now.